Hey guys, so some of you know that I really like the thrill, going out and doing something adventurous with some sort of risk. Which reminds me of a time when my friend Cody and I went and broke into a cell tower, and oh boy, the stuff that we found. So it's my senior year in high school, and like I said before, I live in a small town, so we can pretty much do whatever we want with little risk of getting caught or anything happening to us in the long term. Down the road about a mile from us is a giant tower that we never knew really what it was until we looked into it a bit more. It was completely fenced off with barbed wire. There were big white trucks that would go in and out of it on random occasions, but other than that, there was no labeling, no branding, nothing. And that got us wondering. Our thought process went like this. You know, I wonder what this giant tower is for. Sure, there's satellites, and it looks like antennas and alarms and stuff like that on it, but what could it be for? So, what we did was we decided to climb it. Now let me get to what you're thinking before you even say it. We used safety harnesses, really took precautions, and then just got in and out of there with no issues. And now take that thought and then throw it away, because that's not what we did. Who needs safety harnesses? If you get safety harnesses, that means you're going to be there long term. We didn't want to be there long term. We wanted to be able to get out of there if there was any trouble. We did our normal scope, checked to see if there were any cameras, which there weren't, and then we went around and found a way to get over the barbed wire. There was this one concrete wall next to the fence that if you climbed up the metal fence, you could actually kind of grip onto the wall and step over the barbed wire and then hop over into the guarded fence. So we did this, grabbing of course a bunch of electrical cables that were insulated in order to help us down, and then we were in. Once we were in this strange place, we saw a bunch of random stuff, from empty cracked coke bottles, to bones from some sort of animal, yeah, that kind of place. Something else we saw was a ladder. Now the ladder is a really fun part, because it's a kind of rusted ladder with rungs that are about the size of a dime? And it goes up about 500 feet into the air. Now our first reaction was, oh my god, this looks terrifying. Let's climb it. So we went up about every 40 feet, there was a level that we could just kind of stop off at, and oh, the view is beautiful. So we continued to go up until we could see over all the trees, we could see the roads. Anyway, we got up there, and a really fun part was that you could shake the entire tower by just jumping a little bit. So that was fun and terrifying. So after we did that for a bit, we decided, ah, oh, you know what? Let's go down. We've seen what we can see, but let's find out what's inside. Now, like I said, there is no branding on this tower at all. You would think there would be like a Verizon or AT&T or something around it. There was nothing. All there were were no trespassing signs and then signs saying caution radiation. Now this left all sorts of thoughts. What could this be? We have no idea. Let's go inside and find out. Because you see, next to the tower was a main central building that housed probably all the electronics and everything like that that controlled the tower itself. And one of the flaws about being in a small town is that people don't lock their stuff. I didn't know it extended out to radio towers. Because you see, there's a giant door on the building. And we thought, oh, this is definitely going to be locked. We're going to have to either try and find a key or something like that, or it'll be the end. So we turn the knob, and it just opens. We have all sorts of feelings about this now, because this is a creepy place that we've never heard anything about, only seen. And then the door to it just opens. You see, inside, there are no lights at all, which was even more terrifying. All the light bulbs were completely smashed. Because of this, all we had was our little phone flashlights in order to try and show us what there was. It was completely silent inside, except for a thumping that we thought we heard. So we started walking in, and then immediately on the wall, we saw something. The sign read, Silent Alarm. And of course, then we were freaking out. The doors open, silent alarm went off, we're going to be arrested immediately. That is, until we followed the line leading from it and the door, and the line was cut. Okay, 
interesting. We proceeded. The entire inside looked like it hadn't been touched in years. I'm talking years. It was completely covered in dust. There was a drink in there of a Fanta, but that was completely covered in spider webs and dust and it had not been moved in so long it looked like. Like I said before, we thought that we heard a weird thumping sound every second and a half or so. And once we walked inside, it became a lot more prominent. You see, the building was separated into various rooms. So the first room that we were in, and then it was separated by another giant metal door that had a window in it. We tried shining a light in the window, but it didn't work because it was covered in dust. Lucky for us, that door was also open. So we went in and it was even darker than before. No longer did we have the sunlight from outside shining in. There's no windows and all we hear is that thumping. We're looking around and we can't find anything. All I find is this clipboard that's covered in dust. So I wait and hold on to it until the very end. And then a giant switch. Now, if you think of like cartoons that have like a giant pull the lever switch, it was literally that, like a big yellow thing about this big. And we presumed that was to just turn on and off the tower. I'd like to think that. Now this room besides the switch is just covered in electrical cables, all insulated throughout the floor and the walls. And then something else. You see, we're still hearing that thumping but we can't see where it's coming from. In fact, we can't even tell at all. There's stairs though, stairs that go down. Now, it is pitch black. Both doors are open and we don't know what is here. Something's making a noise and we're freaking out because of it. We look around a bit more, but we don't go anywhere near those stairs because what if someone's down there? What if someone is making that noise? We didn't even want to try it. So we took a look around one last time and then quickly got out of there, shut the door and then shut the other one. Thing is, like I said, I left that clipboard with me in order to look at it out in the light. Now it was covered in dust and dirt and stuff like that. So I had to get a water bottle actually and try and wipe it off. But once I did, I didn't know what to make of it. It looked like some electrical plans, but not stuff that was, like I said, branded at all. It was kind of just diagrams about different levers and things like that. Now, of course, looking at it now, it's definitely a cell tower. They probably just didn't want it branded because it didn't belong to one company. But still, it was really creepy what that noise was and that there was no signs of anyone being in there for years but the doors were unlocked. Once we shut the doors, we got out of there as soon as possible because we were still worried about the silent alarm and all that kind of stuff. So we left and kind of left it alone for a few days. We went back though, about two weeks later, and the door was locked. We live right down the road from this and sure, we had school and stuff like that during the day, but we got out around two o'clock and we never saw anyone there. So we're either left to think maybe the silent alarm actually did work or something else. Every time that we've gone back since, the door has been locked, so we haven't been able to get another look inside. But I really wish that we did. Anyways, that's my story about how my friend Cody and I broke into a cell tower and encountered some really weird things. If you like that though, make sure to check out one of my other stories that you can click on the screen right now. And if you have any opinions on that topic, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. If you liked it, make sure to show your support. If you want to see more content like this, ring the bell and subscribe. I'm Tyler, and until next time, I'll see you around.